Authorities on a mission today to bring law and order to a sector of our society that has proved problematic for some time. Today, they hit the streets cracking down on bush mechanics. Carla Palmer went along. From Pinewood Gardens in the south and thousands of miles in between to the southwestern district of Adelaide Village, police with their environmental partners in tow took to the streets on a mission. While this latest initiative by the government is to promote a clean and safe environment nationwide, urban renewal teams say their actions through this exercise is also a demonstration of their commitment to enforce the laws. We go into those areas where there are um, abandoned vehicles, roadside garages where persons are operating illegally, and they're creating what we, what we consider to be a problem in the community. Exposure to the environment through the oils and other substances that are leaking into our environment. Assistant Superintendent of Police, Virgil Sinatis, is the officer in charge of urban renewal in Pinewood Gardens. He says repeated warnings and citations have fallen on deaf ears and that the police were forced to take action. Some of the notices have been served on persons for more than a year and we are targeting them today that we're going to shut them down. Those garages and also the unsightly Vehicles that are in the community are making the communities look terrible. It's bringing the value of the community down and many residents have complained to us about it. And this is why we're taking this step today. In addition to the unsightly roadside garages, Health Inspector Miriam Coakley also pointed to the unsanitary conditions. Automatically when they don't get them fixed, they leave them right there. Then on top of that, they're throwing the oil on the ground that's seeping into the, um, the water table to, to cause contamination to the water and then there is also a problem where they have a lot of garbage, accumulation of garbage that is breeding mosquitoes. In one case when police returned to a site off Carmichael Road, the homeowner, in spite of numerous warnings, had not only added a reported 20 cars to his garage but was occupying a vacant lot next door without permission. ASP Kenrit Neely responded to the action. He have no regard for law and order, no respect for his neighbors, his fellow men who live near to him. So today we're making a bold step to show him that he can't just disrespect the law, have no regard for law in these communities. Police say it's an uncaring attitude like this homeowner why prosecution is necessary. To probably deal with these persons, especially the ones who um, have no disregard for uh, this, uh, the notices that they would have received, the environmental court is necessary that we can deal with these persons in a bulk. And I know one has been suspended, and there were talks about opening an accord, opening a court before. So we're only waiting for that to be um, actually instituted, and we can be more than happy to get these people into. into so an environmental court does not exist then? Not to my knowledge right now. An environmental court just for the environment itself. That is something that we desperately need right now. This cleanup initiative is expected to take place nationwide. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.